Welcome back to another video. The back to verse universe today. I have a banger for you guys. I know you guys are gonna enjoy this so much. This actually has been shot again. Like I've said in previous two videos that I shot these and I lost the audio. I didn't lose the audio, the audio just didn't record. So I'm doing this again. And this is all for you guys as I give back to everybody that's been supporting and everybody that wanna start their journey with the channel. So I'm gonna give you guys uh, plenty of opportunity for you guys to connect with me, uh, to connect to the fan base, and also to connect with mainly the knowledge of how I uh, really did dread videos and got to where I got. 10K is not that much, but for somebody that has zero subscribers, for somebody that has 150 subscribers, somebody that has 2,000 subscribers, 10K is pretty good number, you know? Before I get into the video, you know what the drill is. Intro! Intro! Make sure to go follow me on Instagram, Activers. So right now, guys, I'm actually going to be doing this vlog style. Not so much so boring, like talking on the camera style, okay? It's about 9.30 right now, and I want to show you guys, like, my whole setup right here. And also some things that I upgraded. Not much, but I upgraded one thing uh, recently, and I'm planning on different things also. But I'm going to show you guys completely how to start your Dread channel. And for those actually that are looking to start your channel, this is your opportunity. I'm offering two different things for the fan base for those that don't want to start your channel but still want to be uh, doing your journey on your own um, you know and doing like Instagram or whatever pictures uh, I will have an opportunity of you guys being uh, reviewed on my subscriber review uh, dress and you have to follow a few steps because if I know you're a follower and you are part of the verse crew or the part of the verse family then you have to know that there's steps to things you can't just earn things just like that I can't just subscribe I can't just react to your hair because you just sent me to react to your hair like that's not how you qualify uh, sorry, but that's not how I qualified and got to where I got. I worked my way here. And so you have to do the same thing. So for those that are having uh, to get like some shout outs and get their hair reviewed and stuff like that, a few things you have to do, right? First thing, and I'm gonna list them down. For those of you that want me to react to your dreads, you have to follow a few steps to do it because of the amount of DMs I've been receiving is just a lot. Like it's just, Oh my god, like thank you for that, but at the same time, I have to minimize these DMs as much as I can with these steps to follow. So if you follow these steps, you will end up getting me to react to your dreads, okay? So listen up. So first thing you got to do is make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell. If you don't hit the notification bell, I will know, okay? There's plugins to know if somebody's not hitting the notification button and they're saying that they are. Uh, second thing, you have to go follow my IG, my Instagram, you have to go follow it. And in there, what you're gonna do is on Instagram, since it means that you already have Instagram, then you post an IG post of your dread journey. And it could be uh, four, five, six, seven pictures, up to 10 pictures, I don't care, but I wanna see more than three at least. If I don't see more than three pictures to react to, I'm not gonna react to your dreads and I'm not trying to offend nobody, but I'm trying to trying to say I'm just trying to qualify as much people as I can that really care about this channel. The fourth thing is make sure that you hashtag the verse fam, not family, the verse fam, hashtag the verse fam. And last thing but not least, this is the important one, this is the key. This is how I will know you did all that stuff on your Instagram that you posted it, that you tagged it in the hashtags that you uh, put a po three, four, five picture, that you posted three, four, five picture uh, on there is by you tagging me on that picture. That way I will know I am tagged in there and you qualified yourself based on the, this opportunity that I've given to qualify yourself to get there. For those people that don't want to get themselves qualified, guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna DM me 
and I've got a lot of DMs. I'm not saying I'm knocking those out. I'm just saying I don't have much time to react to everybody's threads because I get a lot of DMs, guys. And I appreciate the love. I'm never going to neglect you guys. I'm always trying to respond as much as I can for the people that really want it and for me to react to your dreads. You have to follow this. The next big opportunity is for those that have a dread channels that have a dread channels and that that have been kind of like struggling and stuff like that and I'm, I'm gonna go into it in depth later on but I'm gonna give you guys opportunity also this is an opportunity of you sending me my intro my own intro reacting my reenacting my own intro and sending to me so you know how I go welcome back to the welcome back and you have to do it how I do it so if you guys have not been subscribed you don't know how how I do my intro so you gotta go watch some videos man and if it's not accurate you're not gonna get posted so I'm gonna give opportunity for a few people for both of these things that I'm doing I'm giving it for a few people the people that have the dread channel I want to get their uh, channel uh, to be sponsored on mine I'm not charging you I'm not asking you for anything but these four steps just like the other people that are doing it for their for me to react to their dress this is how you qualify this is how you uh, make sure that you're going after it and that this will show me that you really want to grow versus you just saying you know, I have a dread channel I post pictures and video no 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 buddy you have to put some work in the first thing is hit the subscribe and hit notification by the way if you have not subscribed hit notification and I haven't seen you in a comment, I will, I, I, I will automatically know you because I read all my comments. So if you're bluffing, you ain't gonna be chosen. Second thing is go follow my IG because that's where the important stuff goes down because that's where you need to contact me in through. The third thing, DM me and send me your channel link. So that way I'll know that you actually have a channel link and that you're really trying to get your channel to be, you know, out there for people to see it. That you have dread journey just like I've been doing, just like how Gunther the Great, just like how other people that you guys watch this journey do have. Fourth thing is that send me the intro. The intro is not your video intro. The, the intro is my intro, my own intro. So I'm gonna plug you. I'm gonna plug you guys in uh, the beginning of the video of my upcoming video that I will upload. That way, the first thing that somebody that clicks on the video sees that indeed it is somebody else. But then they're gonna say, "What is this?" And I'm gonna tell them that somebody has reenacted my intro for this shout out so hopefully guys this is an uh, hopefully guys this is an opportunity for you guys to really bring yourself out and about and get get out of that uh small mentality small mindset you can have 10k you can have 100k you can have 1 million followers and uh i don't have to be that uh I don't have to be just singular people, people that uh, look good or anything like that. People that work hard, I'll get there. You know what I'm saying? So this is some opportunities, but let's get to the video of me showing you guys my setup and also how I started my channel, how I grew my channel, because this will all help you. This will all come down to help you uh, for those that are really watching this video. Appreciate you guys. Hey, let's see my setup. So guys, you guys saw my setup, that's what it looks like. To start your channel, you don't need all that setup. Like, it's not even that much right here. If you guys can afford that, a laptop, external drive, a tripod, and lights. I mean, you guys are already like professionals, man. You guys already can start your channel and it will be nice looking because in that channel, what people look for are a few things, right? So to begin with, whenever you look at anybody's video, what is the first thing you see? Their thumbnail. So make sure you have a good thumbnail. The second thing you see is their title. Are your titles good? What is the title that you were talking about? What is the topic that you're mentioning? With that comes the content. So so it's kind of almost like a structure that you structure your videos to look like so that you can attract more people and expand. Sometimes you do got to click bait, but I wouldn't say click bait to the max because I don't click bait chart to the max. I never did. Maybe I have once, maybe twice. Yeah. 
But don't clickbait, man. Clickbait as if, like, if you're cutting your dreads, like if I'm trimming my dreads, I would say cut my dreads. So that's kind of like the clickbait that I would use. But I wouldn't go to Max and literally edit my whole head shaved off and I'm bald headed and, you know, shaving my head bald. I wouldn't say that. I would say cutting my dreads off and it'd be just trimming. Not really so much so clickbaiting really bad because then people will not, would not like that. And I, I learned that, you know what I'm saying? People won't stay. People will come and people will go. Some people will stay because they haven't known you and from your personality you can attract them but your personality can go so far. People come for content. The content that you really advertise yourself to are doing. So once you get the first three things straight, your thumbnail, th your thumbnail, your title, and your content, which is your almost like your subtitle, like what are you talking about throughout the video? What are you bringing? And you, they all have to align together. The other tip that I will give you is have a good personality. So if your personality kind of sucks, your video is going to suck. You know what I'm saying? It's just not going to sound good. It's not going to look good. People are not going to be interested. You're just going to blow people off. You're weird. You're going to attract weird people you know what I'm saying so if you're weird just stay weird because people that are weird will come to your videos and stay weird with you another tip is make sure that you are consistent this is a big tip actually because without you being consistent another person will not come back again to see your video if you haven't uploaded for a year if you just bounce back and forth and when you don't even know when to edit and when to do it you you're not ready man you're not ready to be a youtuber to be honest with you it's a whole business it's, it needs time it needs investment and uh, just wait off just Start with like small edits and stuff like that and try to invest small amount of time till you really get used to it. Then start investing more time and stay consistent with it because you're going to start growing and people want to know more about you, want to see more of the contents that you can bring and the capability that you have. As you guys seen, my YouTube channel has been doing good. Uh, uh, in a year, I'm able to reach 10,000 followers, subscribers, and I'm able to reach more than uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, views also. So, so I'm, I was able to reach those people, but I was not able to make them stay. So my question would be, how do I make them stay? Because I've had this amount of exposure, but this amount of people stay. And at the same time, how do I make them stay and consistently watch my videos? And I have to make my videos interested. In. So have you guys, as you guys seen me grow, you have, you guys have seen that my videos has become more interesting and interesting. So that is another tip for you guys. Hold up, Activerse. Don't I need uh, a, a new laptop? What kind of laptop do you use? What uh, what kind of camera do you have? What kind of microphone are you plugged in? And what kind of uh, uh, lights do you have? What, what, what are you using? What, what kind of desk do you have? What kind of toilet do you have? What kind of toilet paper do you use? Seriously, those questions don't matter. Those really don't matter for you to start your channel. For you to start your channel is all the things that I mentioned earlier. That's what matters. Use your phone. Use YouTube editor. YouTube has an editor in itself. You don't need to purchase Adobe. You don't need to purchase new lights. Use the natural lights like what I'm doing right now. I'm barely using a little bit of studio lights. Use your camera to take thumbnail pictures. Use uh, Instagram to edit the name of. Use Instagram to, to, to edit the thumbnail itself. You can do it. To take the picture side diagonally and edit it diagonally and save it off of Instagram. There's apps to do that actually. Not even Instagram, but that's just a, literally a simplest thing to, to think about. If you're asking these little questions, you're not ready to really start your channel. You can always upgrade. You can always get a new camera. You can always, you can always level up on those things. But if you're just giving up off of you not having these things that you're not ready, then you're not you're not gonna be ready ever, <laughs> ever. Trust me. There's always gonna be new cameras that's gonna come out. There's always gonna be new lighting. There's always gonna be new style of editing. Worry about those things later. Start with what you have right now and whatever content you may bring. You might not just do YouTube for dreads. You can do other things. And I'm not trying to be boxing the dreads, and that's why that's why you guys can tell I've been doing different type, different type of things, and I'm, I want to start doing vlogs too funny things skits I want to entertain you guys I want you guys to come back here it's a business I want somebody that ate out of my restaurant to come back the next day or the next week you know what I'm saying it's not a one-time thing so treat it that way don't treat it small it's smaller than that I'm not really trying to make money activists you know what I'm saying I'm just trying to help out people you know I'm, I'm an OG uh, I just I'm just trying to give this young young folks some knowledge like shut up bro nobody cares really nobody cares that don't really matter if you have a lot of knowledge or not anybody can do research and tell you how to do things 
and how to do this and how to do that. This is a business. You will gain money from this. It's not going to be that much for now. It's not going to be that much when you start, but it is indeed an achievement that you will say, okay, I have achieved this, I have achieved that. Of course, YouTube, once you start getting 1,000 subscribers and about 3,000 hours of views from people, they monetize you to make money. That opens up a whole new world of business opportunity to connect with other people and companies and, 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 and get paid also for your videos, for putting ads on there. So if, if anybody sees any ads of mine, just stay, stay watching and download what they say. I'm just kidding, don't do that. We'll do whatever you wanna do. I use YouTube Premium because it saved me time. I was tired of watching it. People add, they add up. The ads add up and it takes away my time. You know what I'm saying? So these are some advices, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to start your YouTube channel and you don't have to do just dreads you can do anything you want I don't want to be trapped in dreads also just like yourself you don't want to be trapped in just hair you want to do other things have fun do stuff with your friends God in the center because without him I wouldn't be here where I'm at today if I were to give you one big advice that would be it right there without God there's nothing that I would have accomplished in being here today where I'm at I'll be doing other dumb stuff which would not help me at all be the person that I want to become I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was like small talks in there. <laughs> but if you guys really enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Like I showed you guys the setup and stuff like that. You guys don't need none of that stuff to start your dreads. It's not to brag on myself or anything, but I've came a little long way than, than other people that have not started their dread channel. Uh, and it's not a comparison per se, but it's, uh, it's an accomplishment that I'm proud of myself. I'm not comparing myself to nobody. And that matters too when you have channel, when you have subscribers, when you have followers on Instagram. Don't compare your Instagram to another person's Instagram. Just do what you're supposed to do and things will start changing for you. Thank you guys for watching this video make sure you hit the thumbs up for this video and comment down below what you guys want to see next i know you guys have not seen my dread that much and i want to go in detail and depth because i'm gonna be retwisting it real soon probably next week or the week after i'm gonna be retwisting it and it's gonna be banger because i'm gonna show you guys how to maintain the thickness of it because as you guys seen some of my bottom part of my dreads has thinned out a little bit and that is a problem that is a huge problem actually so i want to show you guys how to uh avoid those things also and as i correct my dreads because it's kind of going towards that uh thank you guys for watching this video make sure you check out the previous video but till next time keep acting diverse and creating your universe stay tuned you dig <laughs>